Well, hey guys, today on the bench we have this kilowatt. It's a model number P4400.01. And this can handle up to 15 amps through it. And it's made by P3 International. And I've had this thing for quite some time, maybe even 10 or 12 years. And it is RMS, so it works good on um, checking your voltage, current, your wattage, and your, your kilowatt hours of use on a device. And I've never had an issue with this, and I've used it in recent videos. But then a while back, I had this hooked up to my dehumidifier for a while and just left it on there and watched it for like a month to see what the kilowatt hour use was. And when I went to use it again, I noticed something kind of strange. I noticed this thing reading up upwards to like 170 volts. So it's almost like it's reading the peak rather than a normal RMS. At any rate, I wanted to show you this and I just thought we'd take a look inside. My first thought about this being digital, if it's, um, if it's just pretty much a program chip and that's it, it might not be a whole lot we can do, but if it's a resistor or capacitor that it goes through to read the voltage reading, then um, we might get lucky. So since this thing's still anywhere from 40 to 50 bucks and it is a handy device, I'm definitely going to take time to um, look inside. We'll see if it makes an interesting video. Looks like we just have three like number one size Phillips screws. And we're in just like that. Not a whole lot to it. That's gonna be our current shunt. Got a few diodes, a big resistor. That's interesting. That's it's gonna be a capacitive dropper X1 rated uh, cap. So that's a mains rated cap. And yeah, the board, it must be just a microcontroller on the other side. Probably not a whole lot to it. Be careful what our display and sure enough it's got a, like a zebra strip membrane and we got a blob we got a lm2902 uh, another little eight pin chip ft24c02a a 78l05 5 volt regulator a few small transistors resistors a buzzer that i didn't even know that i had a crystal zener diode a diode a electrolytic cap nothing much to it one thing that's interesting, we see our thermal fuse here in case something gets ugly. So if we look here, we have this X1 capacitor that's coming off and that's going to be reading our voltage back. Kind of like a capacitor dropper, which I don't like capacitor droppers, but I understand for this reason, they're just reading the voltage. They're not powering much else other than a little display, so looks like that thermal fuse says 99C, 15 amp rated. So the first thing I'm gonna do is um, test this capacitor since it's just reading the voltage incorrectly. The current actually seems right. I did a quick check with current just to, just to make sure it looked close. I didn't uh, make sure something wasn't going on with the chip itself. All right, 255 nanofarad and 255 nano. This is a 0.47 micro, you can read that. So mains rated 0.47 micro, so that should be 470 nano. So let's remove this and see what we get. So we got this cap removed. We'll just bring this over. See if this reads any differently. With a different meter, nope. 257, about dead on with the long runner tester, the TC1 did. See if I can find something to test this with. All right, back now I do have a 0.47. This is gonna be an X2, they're both mains rated. 
This was just tested, uh, I believe it's 3,000 instead of 2,000. I might be wrong about that. But that's the difference in the X1, X2 capacitor. The main thing to me is they got the same voltage rating and they are mains rated per, uh, safety cap. I just want to see if um, if I put this in here, if it'll read correctly. So I'm just going to, I'm going to have to make this fit. I'll be right back. I was about to bend these leads and make them fit temporarily, but if you look here, you may have seen it on camera before I did. Um, they actually allowed here for C1 to be several different packages of safety caps, and that is pretty neat. So all I got to do is just clean this hole here up, and it'll drop right in. That's awesome. Try not to disturb that zebra strip, so hopefully that all lines up. Let's check it out. Look at there. Think that was it. Pretty close. So if you found this video to be helpful today, uh, replacing the cap in this kilowatt power meter, please like, share, Subscribe and thanks for watching.